Greetings programs, Atari here, you there, and this is a replica of the front panel from an Altair 8800 computer. And today we are going to figure out how to design and build a new case around this one. This channel is made possible in part by Morning Fame, smarter analytics to simplify YouTube growth. Use the link on your screen right now to get your first month free. And by TubeBuddy, your best friend on the road to YouTube success. Use the affiliate link on your screen to sign up today. Okay, so the Altair is kind of this, you know, this kind of classic vintage retro computer. It was one of the very first, like, popular kit computers, popular electronics, uh, ran an article on it, and they just went crazy. It was one of the more affordable units. It was actually the, uh, it was actually uh, the computer, it was the platform that the very first Microsoft products were actually based for. So I want to build a little bit of an homage to uh, this uh, classic computer system, uh, but we're going to be building it out of an Arduino Due. That's going to be the, the basic platform. So on the front, it's all going to work just like the Altair did, and uh, it will output uh, serial out just like, the, uh, just like the original did, and so it'll go to a dumb terminal and uh, be able to do all that from there. So really, I just want to design a nice uh, appropriate case for it. Um, so to do that, I've got an image here of an original Altair that I'm kind of basing this off of. So there's, it's a two-tone case. So you've got this blue outer section and then you have like the, the cream colored like lid section that kind of, um, that kind of just uh, sits on top of it and uh, screws down. So I'm going to be doing the same thing, but out of acrylic. Uh, so I need to kind of design around this front panel and then uh, do the back there. So you, first you've got this kind of this frame right here. So you the frame here. Whoop. That and then bottom section that's all the same color material. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is essentially have so there's these screw holes here too. So I'm thinking I'm going to have this basic idea like that where it's just kind of a um, kind of this box that uh, fits around here and then the three pieces for that and then it'll screw on to the bottom on four sides and that's probably how we're going to do it. I'm only going to make the thing about uh, about six inches deep so really it's probably going to end up being something more like that from the side and then the top part would just fit right over the top like that and then screw, screw, screw. I think that should be, I think that'll work really well. I think that'll be nice. So this is about maybe uh, six inches and then this is like six inches tall and then uh, it's like 15 inches wide. So let's get the measurements on there. I need. So we're looking at something that is, this piece is 14, like 14 and 3 quarters, looks right, 14 and 3 quarters, so 14.75 wide on the front, and then about 5, 5 and 3 quarters. high, this is the front, and we're probably going to do it about six inches deep, and, and that should be really all that we need for it. So let's transfer this over 
to uh, Adobe and see what we can come up with. So here's my blank canvas in Adobe. Uh, we're just going to start with the front front panel. So I'm thinking maybe an inch deep. So maybe a one by one by fifteen. Right. inch by 15 inches so that's a that's our top that's our bottom actually the bottom needs to be about let's call that six inches deep huh? so this is same top front which is the bottom panel period for the sides I'm gonna do maybe halfway up, so three inches, three inches tall. Ooh, why is that filled in? I don't know what that filled in. Okay, so that's a that's a six by six square. And then if we go from the center straight down to that intersection right there, we go. That's the corner. And we want to take. To do is I want to take this one. The height is at three inches. I want to take the height down to two inches right there. And so this becomes our side piece. So we have this. That's around the outside. Um, and then we copy this. the other side as well. Okay. And this is all on blue. This is all going to be in blue acrylic so it will match uh, it'll match this sort of outside piece. So it's going to be a little more like like down that line there and, and then out. A little extra room there. And that should be that should be plenty there. And then what I can do is I'm going to do a new so this is six inches and then these are like a quarter inch. Um, it's gonna be a quarter inch wide. So I do need to add a little bit here. So I need to add a little bit here because I need to take off like a 0.125, take off an eighth. So that's uh, eight, seven, five. So these are eighth inch acrylic. Oh yeah, these are eighth inch acrylic. So two eighths. Okay, so that's boom, boom, and that should fit on either side. That should fit right across the top, and everything should fit. Good. And this will be on top, so that'll fit. So then, what I need at that point is okay. So we're going to do a new one. It's here. So then, so if we have box. Here's the top view. It's an inch right there. This is uh, 15. These are an eighth. These are eighth inch on either side. Um, 
So then that makes our inside width um, 14, 7, 5. And that'll work just fine. 14.75 inside width. Okay, and then Six inches deep. So, actually, no, that's not six inches. Yeah, it's six inches deep, right? Yes, six inches deep. Okay. All right. So, if I have the back, so this back panel is going to be. 14.75 wide and then should be six inches deep. It's gonna be it should fit underneath this blue part right here. Fit directly up against the back of here. Uh, this is also an eighth inch wide. And it's gonna be sitting back like an eighth of an inch. So if we have 5.75 okay and that's the top that's this piece and it'll slide in just like that made with like a white or a cream acrylic, depends on what plasma has available. Now I need the sides, and the sides are going to be, uh, if the complete side is 5 inches, we're just going to take it off top, so 575 tall, same height as this, should be the same height as this, so 575 tall, and then 575, so 575 square. Actually, before I do that, um, so the top, the back, and the sides. So looking over it, I actually see that I made a little bit of a mistake. I'm going to bring this guy down just a smidge. Um, and in order to do that, I'm just going to actually delete that and. Instead of being 5.75 inches uh, tall, I need to bring him down another. Yeah, I need to bring him down another eighth of an inch because the top's going to sit on top of that. And so not only does he have to fit in that uh, 5.75 inch gap, now the top's got to fit in that 5.75 inch gap as well. So I like the idea of gluing the pieces to the bigger side instead of gluing. I didn't need like these short pieces, just a hair smaller. Uh, so instead of 5.75 inches, uh, we're looking at 625. Yeah. All right, so that's one side. And then I gotta put these vent holes in. Um, and I'm gonna use a rounded rectangle tool for that. And they're gonna be three inches tall. Actually, let's make them two inches tall just to have that. Make them two inches tall and then 0 0.125 wide. And I'm just going to be these little eighth inch. Just these little eighth inch vents that start at the center and go back. What I'm doing is I'm just, um, they're going to be evenly spaced, so I'm going to just rack them up like this. And then just duplicate a whole bunch of them. through and 
delete every other one. And then now we have this nice, oops. And now we're gonna have a nice evenly spaced uh, ventilation grill. Just a hair. That's the center. That's the center, so let's take it. That should do it because you've got you know, plenty of room right there on top, plenty of room on the bottom. And this will all fit inside the blue part very nicely. Okay, that's our basic design. So we have that's our, our front panel and our side panels and our, our bottom. And that's all one piece. That'll all be one blue piece. And then this is the top and the interior sides that and then I'll screw into uh, the blue pieces and I'll have to uh, put screw holes in there for that. Uh, once all that's actually sitting like together, I'll, I'll, I'll just cut it. I'll, I'll just drill through it and fit the screws that way, uh, fit it manually. So that's how that's going to work. In the meantime, uh, check out the social media channels over here. Subscribe, bell notification, watch the entire playlist right here. Get you the whole thing start to finish. And then, of course, down here is the newsletter. Go ahead and sign up for that. Get you updated on everything that's been going on around here in all the different places. My name is Atari, and until next time, tally-ho, y'all.